now we've hopped back over on our 2008 enterprise server and let's try some different permissions here um, we did have local permissions let's do let's go to sharing and this time we'll go here we'll edit our group oops we're logged in as Austin Powers well no problem we'll just use a secondary logon that'll give us the credentials that we need permissions now this time we're going to check full control change and read so now he has Austin Powers will have full control both at the local file system or NTFS level as ACES on the DACL and also here at the share level and we'll click OK and close and now we're back on our Vista client and let's go ahead and launch that from a UNC again Sarah is the name of our 2008 domain controller, so it's acting as our file server. Um, it's 2008 Enterprise. We are on Vista Ultimate, a client or workstation. So we'll bring it up across the network. Across the network, now we see top secret. And now let's see what effective permissions we have. Let's see if we can get rid of test. Okay, let's see if we can go in testing one, two, three. And let's try to open this in Notepad. And there's our batch file. And then we'll just add a line there, a little rim comment line. And notice we can save it. We have permission. I'll open it back up. Whoops, ran it that time when we edit it. And there's can we save it. So again, it combines the permissions at the share level and the NTFS level combine in the most restrictive fashion.